Tonight, the historic showdown. Joe Biden and Donald Trump set to face off in their first 2024 presidential debate. The stage now set. The candidates arriving in Atlanta for the biggest night of this campaign so far. For President Biden, his best chance yet to ease questions over his age. While former President Trump is taking the stage less than a month after his criminal conviction. The attacks expected over abortion, the economy, immigration, and the mystery over Mr. Trump's VP pick. The top three contenders all expected to be there. Our full coverage tonight. Also this evening, the Supreme Court allowing emergency abortions in Idaho for now, a day after the ruling was mistakenly posted online. Why the fight is far from over. Just in, more than two years after the Uvalde massacre, the indictment the now former school district police chief is facing. New storms in the Midwest on the heels of catastrophic flooding and deadly weather slamming the Northeast. In Gaza, 20 critically ill children in desperate need of care. For months, NBC News exclusively tracking the secret mission to rescue them. Our cameras there today as they are evacuated out of the war zone. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening and welcome. The stage is set for the most significant night of the 2024 campaign so far. President Biden and former President Trump have arrived in Atlanta to face off in their first debate, hoping to win over undecided voters while reassuring their supporters. They'll appear for 90 minutes with no studio audience and with microphones muted while the other candidate is speaking. Inflation, immigration and abortion rights expected to be key topics tonight. President Biden comes into this showdown facing low approval ratings while Mr. Trump enters the night under the cloud of his felony conviction. And four years after their last debate, both men face voter concerns over their age. Also there, the top three contenders to be Mr. Trump's running mate, Hallie Jackson starts us off from Atlanta. The stage now set, the candidates arriving for what may be the most watched moment of this election and one America has never seen in modern political history. The current president versus the former president, with Mr. Trump doing a final brush up on the plane to Atlanta, according to a person close to him. President Biden arriving from Camp David, where sources tell NBC News he's held multiple full length mock debates. The two tonight face to face, but not eye to eye with sharp distinctions on how to handle issues like abortion access. The president also looking to show strength to counter voter concerns about his age and on Mr. Trump's legal issues, taking out a full page ad describing him as a convicted criminal. Should we expect to hear President Biden call Mr. Trump directly a convicted felon? Well, it depends on the question. I don't think he's going to gratuitously throw it out there, but he's called Donald Trump a felon before. So I don't think that he wouldn't do it. And um if the shoe fits, you wear it. And uh, former President Trump is a convicted felon. And the Biden campaign deploying Mr. Trump's estranged niece to help make the case against him. Donald Trump should never be allowed near the levers of power ever again. Former President Trump, for his part, previewing a push on immigration, with voters consistently saying the border and the economy are the two most important factors they're considering. No matter what Joe Biden promised in the debate, ask yourself, are you financially better off since he became president? Mr. Trump has said his running mate will be in Atlanta tonight, but he hasn't said which of the top contenders he'll choose. J.D. Vance, Marco Rubio, Doug Burgum, as allies suggest Mr. Trump may rein himself in on stage. Will we see a more disciplined Donald Trump tonight on that debate stage here? You will. He's been president of the United States. He knows what this job is. He knows the issues and the ways to fix this country. And then he's looking at a man who's done a terrible job. It's not clear if the two opponents will shake hands, as is tradition, in a studio with no live audience and with microphones muted when it's not their turn to speak. Some new national polling shows Mr. Trump narrowly leading President Biden, although within the margin of error. And tonight may make a difference. 16 percent of voters say they're open to changing their pick based on tonight's performances. The most critical in this campaign yet. Hallie joins us now from the spin room tonight, where the debate is just the beginning of a new push for both campaigns. That's right, Lester. After their surrogates hit the spin room here in Atlanta, both candidates are hoping to take whatever momentum they get from the debate on the road to rallies. President Biden set to head to North Carolina, former President Trump to Virginia. Lester. Hallie Jackson starting us off. Thanks.